Build one South Africa movement leader Musi Maimani has urged President Cyril Ramaphosa not to attend the inauguration and swearing-in ceremony of Zimbabwean President Emerson Mnangagwa. Mnangagwa's official inauguration is expected to take place on Monday, September the 4th in Harare following recent elections in the country which saw him emerge victorious with 52.6% of the total votes cast while his main opponent Nelson Chamisa of the Citizens Coalition for Change clinched 44% of the votes. In a letter addressed to heads of state, Zimbabwean Secretary for Foreign Affairs and International Trade James Manzo said Mnangagwa, who also leads ruling party ZANU-PF, had invited his counterparts to attend. However, my money pointed out that by attending, Ramaphosa would be subverting the stance taken by the Southern African Development Community on the Zimbabwe elections. In a previous statement, Sadiq's Electoral Observer Mission denounced the harmonized elections in Zimbabwe, stating that they violated democratic processes and fell short of the requirements of the Constitution of Zimbabwe. The Electoral Act and the Sadiq principles and guidelines governing democratic elections. My money said for this reason, Ramaphosa should not undermine Sadiq and not extend the crisis in Zimbabwe, which is affecting South Africa by attending, he wrote on X, formerly known as Twitter. Chamisa's Triple C has meanwhile called for fresh elections to avoid the crisis faced by Zimbabwe. While Ramaphosa's officer is yet to officially pronounce on whether he will be attending or not, in a previous statement, he congratulated the people of Zimbabwe for holding peaceful elections and said, while well, we noted the concerns raised by international observer missions and those from the AU and Sadiq, South Africa calls on parties in Zimbabwe to work in unison in sustaining peace and work towards development and shared prosperity in the country. Furthermore, in a statement issued on Friday, the ANC's National Working Committee repeated its calls for sanctions against Zimbabwe to be lifted to allow for the nation's development. It also called for peace and political tolerance in the country.